with nothing more than his bare hands, one man confronted and battled raging bulls. That man was the master of karate, Naso Yama. To demonstrate the power of his karate, Oyama crushed rocks and bricks and challenged all comers to bare fisted, no holds barred duels. He defeated all who faced him. Very quickly, young men fascinated with Oyama's karate gathered to train and learn. Oyama's fame spread across the globe to develop the whole body into a weapon through the absolute extremes of training, to develop a spirit unshaken before all trials. This karate is an art aimed at mastery of both the physical and spiritual. This is Kyokushin Karate. These instructional videos were produced for the purpose of standardizing Kyokushin Karate worldwide in accordance with the wishes of Masoyama. To begin with, I shall explain the dojo etiquette in detail. First, the standing bow. With correct posture, stand in Shizen Tai. Bring the fists to the opposite ears. From this position, cut the fists across the body. Extend the spine and bow the head 30 to 40 degrees. Take care not to bow the head so deeply that you lose clear vision of the opponent's movement. As far as possible, maintain vision and awareness of any movement from both the front and sides. Return to the original position. With the kneeling bow, I will begin by first explaining the correct way to sit in Caesar. From Shizentai, withdraw the left foot slightly and kneel. Bring the right foot back and drop the hips. As the hips drop, bring the fists to the top of the thighs and place them there deliberately. The distance between the knees is approximately two to three widths of the fists wide. In this position, extend the spine fully, relax and drop the shoulders. The fists are placed one fist width off the end of the thighs. Visualize an equilateral triangle with the fists at the base. Extend the spine and bow the head, looking towards the top of the triangle. Again, do not drop the head too low. As with the standing bow, remain aware of the opponent's movements. From there, return to Caesar. え、この位置から再び立ち方ですけれども、座った時と全く逆にまず右足を立てて、その上で左足を戻して自然体に戻ります。With the seidets, or the line-up, the highest grade stands at the right end of the front row. From there, the students line up in order of rank. 
please obey this method of lining up in class. Scissor! Scissor ship! Shinzendi! Okso! Okseve! Shinzendi! はい、それではこれから稽古を始めます。はい、立って。よし。よし。せいざ。せいざし、しんぜんれい。道場君、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、心身を連磨し、心身を連磨し、各攻伐の審議を極めることを、各攻伐の審議を極めることを、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、武の神髄を極め、武の神髄を極め、気に発し管理人になることを、気に発し管理人になることを、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、私立合計をもって、私立合計をもって、自己の精神を寛容することを、自己の精神を寛容することを、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、礼節を重んじ、礼節を重んじ、頂上を軽視粗暴の振る舞いを積むと、頂上を軽視粗暴の振る舞いを積むと、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、神仏を尊び、神仏を尊び、健常の美徳をせざることを、健常の美徳をせざることを、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、知性と体力と向上させ、知性と体力と向上させ、ことに臨んで歩ませざることを、一つ我々は、一つ我々は、生涯の修行を借りてる道に通じ、生涯の修行を借りてる道に通じ、極真の道を全うすることを、極真の道を全うすることを。奥さん奥さんへ、シャンレイ。先輩にありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。お互いにありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。いしたはい、立って。よし。よしよしはい、これをもって稽古終わります。よし。よし。よし。よし。よし。よし。よし。I'll begin with the correct formation of the Seiken fist. Open the hand wide and beginning with the little finger, try to bring the fingertips to the base joint of the fingers. Roll the fingers tightly. To finish, take the thumb across as if to wrap the whole fist as tightly as possible. As the fist is formed, try to feel as though the center of the Seiken is being squeezed tightly from both sides of the fist. The actual part of the fist used to strike is the area of the forefinger and the middle finger between the first and second joints. This is the area used and known as Seiken. Next is Uraken. The hand is gripped exactly the same way as the Seiken. The striking area is the area directly behind the Seiken knuckles. Depending on the situation, sometimes the whole back of the hand may also be used. Next is Shito, or knife hand. As with the Seiken, the hand is first opened widely. From this position, whereas with the Seiken, the power of the hand is concentrated towards the center, 
With the shito, the feeling is as if you are trying to stretch the back of the hand. The four fingers are pressed together lightly, and the thumb is pulled towards the back of the hand. Take care not to let the thumb fold in towards the palm. The striking area is from